or sound better. The Twitch, so I can see the chat right above my head. And let's listen to the track, or let's listen what we have created so far. Playing in 3 to 1. Now. Looking for silence. I put my hand in front of my mouth. Struggling for hours. Not a way, not to make a sound. Great, so this is what we have so far. Um, it doesn't sound that energetic as I was expecting it to sound, so we will have to fix that somehow. Love this track, Roman, it's really cool, like that monk style, in my opinion. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for that. So, um, first things first. Uh, oh, I'm not sure about this um, melody part of the drop, but let's try to keep it somehow. <laughs> Yep. Uh, maybe I will use it only for um, breakdown. I mean, you know that. These plugs are just the same as the drop ones, but there is like this top lead melody that we have created last time. And there is also this layer that I'm also not sure about, so... Yeah, it's better. I will close the filter a bit. This is Deep House, right? Um, it's not Deep House. I believe it's more progressive house. You know, Deep House is usually a bit slower. And uh, yeah, the composition is a bit different. So this is more progressive. Uh, are you doing GIF? Are you doing feedbacks? Sure, I am uh, in like one. Um, one and a half and, and 15 minutes or something like that from 2030. That's the time when, when I usually start giving feedbacks. <laughs> yeah, and I built this a bitch. <laughs> hey, Frizooks, thank you for the follow. Yeah, I believe this could be uh, used as a breakdown. So let's say that this is the this is the drop. It ends at the bar 
40, 49. So um, let me check the final part of the drop one, one more time. Yeah. How about a bit bit of chopping right there? Um yeah. As you can see I already set the declick mode, the clicking mode in there. So <laughs> oh, this was just wrong, so Okay, I believe it won't be that good idea. But I know what the good idea is, and uh, that is using a bit of filter, so the sound will be like more opening. So, yeah, I pass filter, and it will be on full amount the whole time. But when the drop hits, it will go lower, so the vocal will be opening also. <laughs> Think, Domi. <laughs> Just you know, finish what you have to do. You Don't you this is a great idea, Project Destiny. Yeah, I will also sidechain it. Thank you. So, kickstart for 64 bits, and also I will just you know, place the automation here, uh, the on and off actually, the on and off automation, and I will just um. Turn it on only for the drop part. I will also make it shorter just like that. So the automations wouldn't be that long. And I will make the automation a bit softer, I guess. So there's some you know, you have to pick a better nickname man. <laughs> but nice to see you here. Okay, so this is a message I just has, I just have to answer because Frizux official uh, is, is asking me about showing him my personal top three sound sets by WA Production for EDM and progressive producers. Reddit, what about doing be back to B two B live stream? I'm not sure what that is, Stephen Tosh. Honestly, <laughs> I'm not that you know I, I'm not checking that many streams. I just you know I, I've decided to do. Uh, this live producing stream and I'm not sure what B2B means. So, uh, Frizux is your name, right? Uh, I believe it is. I don't see it in the chat anymore. So, my current top three um, sound sets for EDM. So, definitely the number one is this EDM Squat um, sound set because uh, there are some really nasty um, there are some really nasty drum sounds. You know, this sound set will be also available on Splice soon, so you will be only you'll be able to download only the sounds you really like. But you know, check out these drums. They are just great. You know, here are some presets for Serum, which are really dope. Uh, especially these these uh, bass sounds. Some Silent One presets. Uh, let me check how how many sounds are there. Top loops, which are super useful, you know, I love top loops, <laughs> that's why we have so many of them in our packs. Um, yeah, so there are th 33 uh, Serum and 30 Salomon presets, that's about it, and, you know, check this out, 50 MIDI loops, that's just amazing, you know, all of them are key labeled, and they are even named, you know, by the, by the general and everything. So, uh, drum loops, and of course there are, um, yeah, 12 construction kits. I don't have, I don't have the construction kits in there because, uh, I, I, you know, I don't use them while I'm streaming live. I'm creating tracks from scratch. 
So yeah, the EDM squad, which is this one, you can get a get a free demo uh, demo on on our store, and you can download it. Uh, you you can get it with like twenty percent off price. And so yeah, I always you know my top three is is usually changing. So um, let me check what else I would recommend you. Definitely really dope pack is this Sounds of Kashmir by, by Big Edam, which you will be able to buy on Beatport. And what else? Here are some Melbourne Bounds, you know, these are more like special. These ultimate vocal loops are amazing, but um, the pack that I'm actually using all the time, let me check. Um, Sounds of EDM is also great. There are many, many of FL Studio templates and stuff. Ethnic EDM vocals. Or this one is brilliant, and also this one. <laughs> so there are many, quite many of them. But the packs that I'm using all the time are these bigger than ever. Uh, sorry, I missed the message. What did you mean by by the back to be B two B? Just let me know one, once again. Oh, so the the pack that I'm using all the time. Is this bigger than ever FX Essentials? This one is just brilliant. And both volumes, the volume two and the volume one. So be sure to check out these. And uh, yeah, you know, here are the sounds of Kashmir, inspired by Kashmir, obviously. Back to back, yeah, but I, I got you read it. I mean, making a live stream together with me as a guest. Definitely. That's a great idea. We can We can chat about it and uh, find a way of doing that so yeah um, here in the sounds of Kashmir you can see there are also presets melody loops and everything so in case you are looking for this type of sound be sure to check it out you can also get a free demo from our store ultimate vocal loops there are like 177 vocal loops you know really <laughs> Really dope ones, and uh, this is this Groove House Essentials. This is a really amazing pack. You know, twenty bass loops, twenty synth loops, uh, a fix samples, one hundred drum samples, silent one presets, nine construction kits, everything, EDM festival. You know, all of these packs are just great. The only thing you have to do is just go, you know, there, pick the genre you're looking for, you know, EDM and progressive, and just go from there. Uh, hey, S D R S H N. That's great. Where did you get it from? So yeah, that was about the packs. I just wanted to show that to you. So back to the um, back to the vocals. I did side chain them, which which is there. I use this like a bit harder side chain, but you know, made a mix for like set it to like or set the mix to like seventy percent. So yeah, here is the part where the breakdown comes. And for that purpose, I will turn off the sidechain effect for the pluck sounds, which should be should be turned off should be turned off here. So I will automate this kickstart, and I will just you know set the amount to zero and the drop ends. Hey Frizooks, that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you for supporting us. about doing it this way. Looking. 
I will also uh, filter these so they won't be that sharp when the vocal comes. Vocal comes, where it is. I have to move this pattern here. Darling. It could be great, so uh, I'm continued or I continue doing it. What I'm doing here just placing, you know, and copying and pasting the box also to the other part of the, of the breakdown. Not to make a sound. Red Hat, do you add fill fills seldomly? I don't, I don't know what seldomly means. <laughs> of sound here deleting this one so and you call my name don't you call my name darling Well, in case you mean randomly, as Tommy Tots is saying, I'm not putting placing them randomly in the in the project. I'm placing them so so it makes sense, you know. Uh, I'm placing the fills on each like eighth eighth bar. I guess that's it. Um, you know, it depends on the type of track and on the type, on the section of the track that you are working on currently. So, how long have you been producing? Eight years. Is that so? Nine years? Nine years, I believe. Uh, yeah, Tysis is, is here. Hey, what's up, redhead guys? Rise96. There are many people missing. Rarely. Sendomly means rarely. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you for uh, letting me know. Well, I'm using them, as I mentioned, uh, on each 8 bar. Uh, and it really depends on the type of track, you know, there are, you have to use a lot of fills in dubstep and trap, but not that many in this type of progressive track, I believe, so... Um, yeah, let me check how it sounds. In front of my mouth Struggling for hours Not me, not to make a sound And you call my name mm. Hey, Utanium, uh, what exact, what exact Error you are getting from the high tail, it should be working. It doesn't fit clubs like Garrick's. <laughs> well, first things first, 
So I have to uh, fix the clip somehow. But uh, this works, or this sounds pretty nice to me. So let me try to place this, place there these reversed reverbs. Looking for silence, I put my hand in front of my mouth. Struggling for hours, not me, not to make a sound. thing that I wanted to do here um, boom. one more thing is that I wanted to use this reversed reverb also on the vocal so let me record the vocal whoa so many effects there so I will open this Edison and I will record just the beginning of the vocal Looking. that's enough only need to lose step. Hmm, cool. Uh, I will have to put it to this Edison, I believe, on the master channel, and there I will make the sandwich technique. I will just drag and drop it there. And here I have Edison, I will open a Valhalla reverb, uh, another Edison that I will record the reverb, and right there I will set the reverb to like, I don't know, 6-7 seconds, 50%, somewhere around that, and I will hit play. <laughs> As you can see, I've recorded the reverb. Hey, Kron Holm TV, thank you for follow. Can you play it from the start? I've just came here. Sure, have you ever tried using Fruity Convolver for reverb? I did not. I'll, I'll check it uh, offline, that's for sure. So, I've recorded this reverse reverb. Let me check how it sounds. Um, there. Oh, not here. Where it is? Here. Yeah, that's great. Uh, I will only uh, select the reverb part. I will uh, check this the clicking mode and I will apply a delay on it and a reverb and also a bit of EQ. It's really important to um, affect even this like little piece of uh, piece of music because you just need to have all parts sound good and clear and powerful. Looking for silence. Maybe I'll just set it so it ends exactly at when the bar er when the bar ends. Maybe right there. I'm not sure. Looking for Looking for Looking for silence. Hmm, I have to affect it better. How are you today, fuzzy dude? I'm good. I will play the track from from beginning. Just uh, I have to fix this little guy. This is this is great. Let me save it and let me place the T 
Stereo Shaper. Seamless preset. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, it's great. So, uh, playing for the guy that came came, la came t uh, late, or just now, the full track, and also for all of you guys that just came. Looking for silence I put my hand in front of my mouth Struggling for hours Not a way not to make a sound sounds so chilled i love it so there has been there have been well, some questions in the chat so um first thing was uh that or not question but sentence or reminder that i shall make the a couple of lower in the intro part of the track so i will do that the other thing was uh was a question finally <laughs> where I've been mean, asked if I have been going to some uh, producing course courses courses which I've been not uh, because there are not any actually any quality ones in the Czech Republic and I didn't want to go abroad for learning you know music so yeah I was just watching live streams listening to tracks you know uh, or not watching live streams. There are there has hasn't haven't been any live streams lately. But uh watching tutorials, reading uh forums maybe, blogs and stuff, downloading templates. You can do so many so much so many things, you know, to get better in music. It's so easy nowadays. And uh the other dude asked me of of equalizer, I believe. What are what are my computer specifications? I already have it saved because everyone is asking me. So, uh, three point five gigahertz processor, thirty two gigabytes of RAM. I'm running forty uh, sixty four bit uh, system. You know, Windows. Uh, I have two screens, two speakers, <laughs> one mouth and keyboard and keys and microphone chair and table, one room, two kitten, two kitties. So that's what I run. Isn't the kick too snappy? Uh, you mean the kick and the drop? I believe it sounds, it sounds good to me. Well, it's 
you know what is what is headroom it's quite easy what headroom is uh i believe i will t <laughs> i will tell it correctly well the headroom is the space that uh that is left still on any of your mixer channels so usually we are talking about headroom on your on your master channel and the headroom is the empty space between this you know zero db position and where the music is playing so No, but there, there are there are not any peaks. Uh, that is the headroom. If I will just turn down the volume by using fruity balance, I will leave more headroom on the master channel. This whole thing in there is headroom, and uh, headroom is you know mastering engineers are asking for <laughs> leaving headroom on your master channel because they want to. You know, have the track with all of these peaks and dynamics not compressed by limiter or limited by limiter. That is why the headroom is so important to have some headroom when you are sending your tracks or your stems or anything to do a mastering studio or stuff. But yeah, you know, it's just simple like that. No need for making a tutorial about it. Uh, yeah, Tommy. Is it the DJ Academy or Academy for Producers? suck on mastering everyone sucks on mastering yeah i suck too man i'm using ott <laughs> but it works pretty nice believe me uh, reddit why haven't you been touring yet would love to hear you live maybe you will someday maybe i will be touring someday but you know um i just picked a different path for for me uh, I'm not able to creating samples and taking care of WA production and streaming live while I would be like creating some tracks. So I've picked to right now, you know, in this part of my life, I've picked to just be in touch with you, you know, creating music because that's what I enjoy the most right now. I'm pretty, I'm usually very nervous, but, or I was very nervous where, where I was playing. So um, this is just, you know, more chilled option for me what's your best tip for eq well um eq i don't use any other eq but the fapla 2 pro q2 that's just the best one there are so many options uh some tips well you can do a lot of stuff with, with a quality equalizer you can play with a stereo stereo image by you know Increasing and increasing the stereo, the mid and side sections of your where is it? Right there, side section of your equalizer. Um, what I would suggest to you is just to be sure to really not have uh, low frequencies on the sounds that shouldn't have low, low, low frequencies, such as drums, claps, percussion, lead synth. None of these sounds should have low frequencies applied on them and you can do it easily you know by just cutting off just put a equalizer that's that's a great tip actually put an equalizer on each of your if you have a time for that and if you just want to do everything properly put your equalizer on each of of your um mixer channel because that's what usually a lot of mastering and mixing engineers are doing at the end or not on each of it, you know, but on the most important, such as buses and lead synths, and just be sure that you cut off the low frequencies from it, so uh, it won't find with video kicks and video bass at the end. That's that's about it, you know. Everyone is using the uh, equalizer a bit different way or a bit differently, so you just have to find your way of using the equalizer or, or tweaking it. Uh, the equalizer is also very good. For like finding frequencies that you don't want to have in your track. For example, this uh, this equalizer by Fab Filter. If you click this headphones icon, you can only listen to the you know to this small part of the frequency spectrum, and you can even increase it or decrease it by uh, using the mouse wheel. quite cool right because that way you can you know where there are some unwanted frequencies you can just find them you know just like that and boom turn down a do this type of peak or whatever so 
yeah and what i'm also doing with with or, or what i do quite frequently is that i just turn up turn up the high frequencies on lead synth and everything because i feel like um it, it it's a lot of energy to the to the sound and to the track at the end you know adding some high frequencies in there but do not over create things Ooh, Sunrider is dope. I'm not using it that much. Fab Filter Pro is fucking awesome. <laughs> it is. Hey Roman, Indian KSH, hey man. Uh, hey Roman, hey FL Studio 12. RT Beats. Finally, my Twitch worked. What's up, guys? Glad to see you here. So, um, uh, we already have the second breakdown, actually. It was quite easy. You know, um, this track is quite easy and I like it because sometimes you just don't need to create extremely complicated variations and everything you just create an easy track that is easy to listen and it's not that complicated and you know when it flows together well there's no need for adding more features to the track and more sounds and more everything so when it sounds good, it sounds good. Just like that. So the last thing actually I, I wanted to do here um, is that I wanted to um, make the second drop a bit different because I don't want it to sound the same as the first drop. So I will add percussion <laughs> and top loops. Or I will add lead sound. So let's try to do that. Hey, for all of you guys on Facebook and YouTube, just go to my Twitch and let's chat there because I'm not checking uh, Facebook right now at all. So if you want to ask me anything or to just write me a message, just go to my Twitch, follow me there and we can just, you know, hang out in here. Where is subscribe? Uh, I believe the Twitch is working just by hitting the like button, actually. That's what the following means. Mm. What's the update? I'm watching the live on YouTube. Live is yeah, I know that uh, YouTube is not that delayed. <laughs> Track feedbacks are coming in 2030. So... I'll try to create like a gentle top leap, top lead. Um, this is just just an idea. Let me try it. Uh -huh, kick start. Hey, Stoke Kicks. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Uh, you only uh, can get subscribers when you have like, when you are a partner of Twitch. I was already checking it and being a partner means that you have to, uh, you have to have at least like 500 viewers each time you stream, which I actually <laughs> or obviously don't have. I have like, 50 viewers <laughs> on, on Twitch so far, but it's absolutely okay and I, I love it. So uh, it will take some time probably be before I will be able to have uh, Twitch subscribers. Okay, this sound doesn't work well. Let's try a different expansion. Yeah, 
this could do well. Uh, I have to definitely affect it way more. Oh, really? Utanium? Utanium? That's great! Okay, I will do that. How many people are in the AA production team? A lot of guys are asking me that question. I will, I will answer it soon. Uh, Utanium, thank you very much for that. You have to become fatty, fatty pillow. <laughs> yeah. I'm not that fat. Luckily. So, how many people are in AA production team? Uh, well, it's not only me, even though a lot of people are thinking it is, because, I mean, check what WA production is, you know, we have Pump Your Sound, we have the mobile app, I'm the DJ, we have quite some really cool SoundCloud channels, YouTube channels, so a lot, a lot of people actually have to take care of it, so uh, it is me, obviously. It is uh, my colleague that is taking care of emails, uh, you might already communicate with her in past her name is Veronica and uh, there is also a dude that is taking care of the PPC and advertising there is also another guy that is working you know full or I'm not sure how, how, shall, I, how shall I say it but you know full amount of time he is spending on on uh, like working on uh, our, our web store and the pump your sound you know improving it and working on some other projects so that's like administrator and uh, yeah there's our graphic designer the dude that is creating videos and uh, actually there are a lot of producers involved from all around the world a lot of guys from Ukraine, Ukraine a lot of guys from Brazil for example there are not many of them from USA but uh, also some guys from Europe, I believe Great Britain, so uh, you, don't, you are not like sitting all of us on one place, you know, we are communicating through Skype and uh, yeah, obviously I'm working with Austin Leeds, you know, he's based in USA actually, so he's, Austin is taking care of mastering and also the ghost producing section, so uh, there are a lot of guys involved. Uh, do you create the templates and sample packs or do you have a team that do it? Well, I was creating everything at the beginning, but as the AA production started to rise, um, I had to uh, start cooperating with some other producers. So right now it works like uh, that, that the producers send me a product and I I'm remixing and mastering. All, all, all of it and I'm adding some of my own sounds that I'm creating from time to time and then I will release it as, as the final product so uh, I'm more like the final guy that is taking care of all of these sounds that are coming out of the AA production and BKDM but I'm not uh, creating all of them from scratch because I wouldn't be able to do that you know we are releasing two packs per, per week <laughs> so I'm not sure how shall I do that <laughs> What do you do in the AA production team? Samples, templates, or something else? Of well, Red Hat, do you master the track yourself? If yes, what are must-have plugins for mastering? I will tell, tell that later because I'm planning to master this track just quickly. So, uh, what I'm doing? Well, I'm creating samples. I do enjoy creating samples. Also, some templates. Um, I've created plenty of construction kits, and I've I've just I'm just tired of it, so I'm not creating many of them. But obviously, I have my own like series, Red Hat Roman series, where I'm creating also something from time to time. This lead synth is interesting. Um, where it is? Oh, right there. But it should be better. You know what, I will just uh, probably copy and paste the top, top melody from the plug session, oops, to the top lead section. Bro. 
Roman, how many layers of drop synths do you at least recommend to get a full and wide sound? Well, uh, at least two, obviously, um, or the minimum amount, but uh, it really depends on the sound. What I do is that I usually go to like three, you know, sounds wide. One, I really make wider, you know, I really spread it to, to sides. The other one, I really saturate, so it has like the warm mid body and the other one I make a bit more sharper so all of them just flows well together but it really depends on the track it really depends on the sounds you are using this sounds interesting let me place the C6 compressor on it see what this will do Uh, better at melodies, yeah. Uh, as I'm saying all the time, I'm not good at melodies, so <laughs> maybe it will come in time. But I'm using just you know sample packs. I'm using melodies from sample packs. I'm recreating them. If you, I believe, if you don't have this like piano beginnings where you you're able to just play randomly, you know notes, and you know exactly what note is in what key. So uh, it will be quite tough for you to create a cool melody or uh, some cool melodies. So uh, that's why you know we are releasing melody loops. It's just easy to work with them. You can you can recreate them. Just change the top top melody or change the key uh, or change the rhythm of the of the of the midis and you will change it. So. Uh, it will become your own, you know. It's really easy to work with melee loops. Sounds nearly perfect, just let me try also some other presets because I'm still not happy with this YouTube big one. Maybe I will go for a different synthesizer. Let's try silent one. Let's try oh, EDM squad. It might be too hard sounds, but let's do this EDM. You know what? Let's go to EDM world. Yeah. <clears throat> Silent one sound set called EDM Madness, <laughs> but it's it's for EDM world. EDM Madness. Okay, I'm not sure what that is. Still, go to leads. Yeah, this sounds great. This sounds dope. Let me detune it a bit more. I'm still not able to find the right sound, come on. Oh. 
Uh, maybe I will go to uh, context five. I will try to add there some like organic acoustic plugs because this is just getting getting boring, right? So let me try to go to um pum 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 stringed yeah string instruments and bazooka sakis it won't be probably it but let's try it and also let me save the project because this is quite Working fine right now, this is great. So I'm creating this just simple pageo and I will see if it works or not. You know, don't mind the sound please, I will change it. I'm right now I'm creating only the melody. I tried to wrote it to the uh, to the channel that I wrote it also the contact five. This is kind of interesting sound. Yep. Interesting, but it doesn't sound that good. Maybe a good idea would be to also play with the cutoff of this like plucked lead. I will do that. I will automate the last peak parameter just like that. And that way the sound will be opening the same way as the background plucks. So the sound is crackling, that's okay. That's great. Let me um, first think, let me switch smart. Before all plugins, and let's try 
Let's try the whole second breakdown actually. At the let's try the whole track actually. Because I want to hear it full. It sounded well to get rid of second breakdown, so let's check if the second drop will also flows good with the rest of the track. Looking for silence. I put my hand in front of my mouth. Struggling for hours. Not me, not to make a sound. Yeah, so I added this white noise uplifter. I did some tweaks, such as mm, I did. Yeah, I deleted this arpeggio from the first drop because I forgot to, or I left it in there. I also added these reversed uh, reverbs. Uh, let me check your comments. But Roman, I am the Eaglo guy from. Republic who sent you the preview to check really thank you for all of your live streams I learned a lot from them that's great man thank you so much uh, so I added also these reverse reverbs I still feel like this What's wrong with you. What the like Uh huh. I still feel like these vocals are a bit too loud, so I'll make them lower just slightly. Like that. You know using the fruit to balance. So useful plugin or tool. Looking for silence. I put my hand. Hey Roman, hope I'm not the only one, but uh, in the first drop the cutoff and distortion automation seems a bit too aggressive 
for the happy hordes that are playing. The final one sounds great. Maybe just make the first and one a bit cal calmer. Okay, let's do that. Um, I will just turn them down just like that. Work. <laughs> Thank you, God. You know what would, would be also great is to uh, how to make this detune, uh, but detune knobs in the oscillators. Yeah, that would be great. So let me try to do that. I will also automate them. That is a great idea. Actually, I never tried it before. So let's try it. Last week, um, create automation clip and I will connect this detuned. Uh, I'll just you know connect it with the same automation filter, just like that. I will I will find the automation filter that I wanted to connect it with, and just hit accept. So right now there is this automation that um, is automating our detune knobs. So let's see how it sounds. Okay. It is a great sound, right? It's a great idea, actually. Keep that in mind for some of your projects. Um, I'm really tired of all of these CPU crackles. So what I will do now is that I will just quickly master the project and I will consider it a finished one. I will upload it on my SoundCloud and I will mention the, mention the Twitch fam uh, in the description of the track, right? Because you deserve it. Our first uh, track that will be released together. That's great. You know, I will do it just like that. The true man. You know, it's the fun of Prunabelly. Prunabelly. I'm not sure if he has the double L or not. Looking for laugh, I guess. Laugh. Which family or fam? Fam, let me know. What do you? How do you want me to call you? <laughs> or or red red gang, red Hat gang, red hunters? At um remix, remix or remake, something like that. Let me know. How do you want me to call you? Yo. And let me also save the project and open uh, my favorite mastering plugin, is <laughs> OTT and also this UAD Precision Multiband compressor. <sighs> Romaners, <laughs> Red Hat Gang, Red Hunters, the Birders, Papa. Red Bird Gang, Red Hunters. So that's two voices for Red Hunters. Bitches is better. Yes, sure. <laughs> A lot of idea. Red Hunters. Arctic Beat. Uh, sure. Well, let's do that. I'll put a hashtag in there. Uh, red. Terrors, Red Hunters, 
And how about this one? Yeah, that's great. Saved. If you like Red Hunters, Red Hunters, let put put it in there. Let's put it in there. So here, here I have a preset, but I, I, I'm always changing it. It's just like a preset that I made one day, and uh, since that I'm using it. It's not a big deal. But uh, what I will do here is that I will select the loudest part actually of the track, which is the second drop, where also the arpeggio is uh, situated, and red hats. Ready, ready, red hunters. <laughs> and uh, I will just go from high, higher a band to lower one and then, then play it at once and see how it sounds. Okay, I forgot that this part is crackling, so I will go to <laughs> I'll go to the first part, even though it's not the loudest one, but still. Just a real quick mastering. Um, I will also take a take a look at the frequency image. I will really cut off the low frequencies from it. What I will also do is that I will uh, go to this. Um, where is it? Where is it? Step one, monomizer. This is a, like mastering suit, but not by Noise Lab, and this, I really like this monomizer. Uh, it has this high pass filter that is really taking care of the low frequencies. You can you can low cut the frequencies also just by using this high pass filter. And also, uh, what you can do is that you can monomize the low frequencies. What about Maximus for mastering? Uh, I'm not using Maximus. I'm I never found a way of using it properly. Actually, so I know Seamless is using it really cool in a really cool way, but uh, not me. I'm not sure why. I will delete this Edison's. I don't need them anymore. Also, it's fascinating to watch. Thank you so much, Benjamin. Um, so for all of you guys on Facebook and SoundCloud and YouTube, not SoundCloud, just go to my Twitch and let's chat there. I'm not checking the Facebook or YouTube messages, so you can you know hit the like button here in here and ask me anything you want. Roman, what uploading stream tracks in one big free EP? I was thinking about it. Honestly, I didn't find time on finishing the track still, but uh, I want to do like a short video from each of these streams, you know, because uh, they took like a few hours, so I want to really squash it into like two minutes and I want to call it just like how to make Kashmir inspired track in two minutes. I will pick only the highlights from the live streams and I will put it, put it to the video and I think that could do well. And after that I will probably re release the tracks for free on SoundCloud or something like that. So yeah, here is this monomizer. I'll put it actually before the multiband compressor. I'm not using Sausage Pattern, I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's because uh, we have developed this pumper, which is just working way more better for me. 
uh, then Sausage Fetterna, it will be out soon, <laughs> hopefully. Um, so I'm not using Sausage Fetterna, I was using it in past, but not anymore. I found out that the Fabulous Saturn and the Pumper works way better to me, for me. So yeah, multiband uh, equalizer, what I can also do is to apply just a slight layer of OTT, a bit of OTT, it's like, I don't know, 20% maybe. You are awesome, John Das. I think you already. Thank you. Here's a donation. Uh, oh, it's already track feedback time. So sorry for that. I forgot about it. Thank you for that very much. I will check the message one more time after I will save this project and I will <laughs> I will get back to you soon. Um... In front of my mouth Struggling for hours Not to make, not to make a sound Don't you call You know what? I'll save it just like that. I think it's pretty well created and I will render it and we will play it in a few minutes one, once it will be rendered. Fitch progressive 1.2 uh, no I want to do the mp3 I have to change this to 24 okay um, yeah rendering right now cool so the, I'm waiting for the cues, good. And meanwhile, let's listen to the track we have created here. I believe this is this one. I will use my FL Studio as a player. And uh, do we have the the FL Studio ASIO? And let's let's listen to our track. <laughs> now it won't crackling. It won't crackle anymore. Looking for silence. I put my hand in front of my mouth. You know what, let me do, uh, you will like it. Give me a second, please. It will be great. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He knows that game visualizer, right? So... Yeah. That will be just a second. And uh, I have to add picture. Uh-huh. For example, this one. So, yeah, it's great. And uh, yeah, let's play it. Looking for silence, I put my hand in front of my mouth. Struggling for hours, not me, not to me.
not afraid not to make a sound. 